thou mayest prosper and then be in health even as your soul prospereth. He looks at every area of our lives and he transforms every area and he brings us that grace that is able to affect and influence every part of our lives and it says, that's my wish, that's my prayer, that's my desire, and that's what God will accomplish in your life. Every day. Every day. So that you retain, you retain the wealth of his abundant grace. We're not going to go to the Lord in prayer. And remember, God still answers prayer. Prayer to be saved. Prayer to be free from guilt. Prayer to be free from condemnation. Prayer that you want to have the working, the outworking of the grace of God in your life. We can have that right now. This final day of these wonders of God's grace crusade is coming your way. I said it's coming your way. And whatever you have not got in the first five days, this final day, you will have in Jesus' name. It's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. The Lord wants all those who sincerely want and desire the grace of God. The free grace of God. The full grace of God. The fructifying grace of God. The grace that bears fruit in our lives. All those who sincerely want free grace, full grace, fructifying grace. He wants you to raise up your hand. Raise up your hand where you are. Forgiveness comes. Freedom comes. New life comes. It's up that hand. God bless you there. God bless you there. And uh, as you raise up your hand, you know you have a part to play. You give your heart to God that had belongs to God. You give your love to God. That love belongs to God. You give your loyalty unto Christ who loved you and gave himself for you. That's, we need to do that. The things that are taken from any man and from God are restored to him fully, fully, completely. No more idol worship. No more loyalty to the traditions of men. But now you have your loyalty completely unto the Lord. Raise up your hand. I surrender all. I surrender all, all to thee, my Savior. I surrender all. The world, the devil, the flesh, that's all clinging to. Now I give up. I give up. I lose them from my hand. I now want to serve the Lord and the Lord alone. Raise up your hand. Raise up your hand. And the final day will not be here in this place tomorrow. This is your chance. It will happen now. As you are raising up your hand, please stand up. God bless you. God bless you. Some are already standing. Anywhere you are, you're giving everything to the Lord. You're not holding anything back. You're not saying, I just want forgiveness. I say, I want to go back to offending the Lord and, you know, contradicting his word. No, I, I just come with all my heart, with all my soul. And I want to give myself unreservedly unto the God of heaven and to Jesus, my Lord, now and my Savior. You stand up wherever you're online. Please do the same thing you are watching by television, please do the same thing. You are there on the Facebook or you are there on your 
laptop you are, you are watching please do the same thing and uh, don't be you know going to the kitchen and coming back and going there and coming back do like you are like as if you were at the crusade field without seer and as you raise up your hand and stand up tell the lord in a few words he knows your heart if it's coming from your heart you understand answer well answer Tell him, Lord, I give myself to you. I give my heart to you. No reservation. My love, my loyalty, everything I give unto you. Forgive me, Lord. Set me free, Lord. And bring that grace to bear on my life. Believe that whosoever shall call, on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Believe. And once you believe, it's done. It's done. I receive Christ. It's done. I hold on to him till my last breath on earth. It's done. We're going to pray together now. You and I agree. That's what you have asked the Lord has answered. Let's pray. Father, we thank you and bless your name. Great God, gracious God, loving God, and a God that will not change. We're asking, oh Lord, that your grace will flow into every life right now in Jesus' name. I pray that your forgiveness comes to everyone that have turned their backs on their sin, they have confessed, they are forsaken, and they are asking for your forgiveness. Forgive them, Lord, in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, that you set them free, the cords of sin that bound them, the habit of sin that bound them, the nature of Satan that bound them, loose them, set them free in jesus name and i pray the spirit of the lord will be a witness in their heart the lord has answered your prayer you're free you are saved go in this strength and grace of the lord and live a life above reproach confirm it lord in every heart in jesus mighty name we we'll pray Amen. God bless you. Keep on standing. Uh, officiating minister tonight will come and lead us in this time of uh, counseling. After that, I'll come back and pray. Tonight is your night of miracle. I congratulate you. I welcome you to the family of God. For us to be able to help you further, your new farm faith, we have counselors all around you. They will take your details, your name, your address, your telephone number. We are doing this so that we can be of help to you. So please collect the slips from the for the counselors, I prefer you fill it in capital letter. Fill everything in capital letter and fill it correctly. Your name and whatever other name they call you, your neighborhood, please put it there. Your address. And if there, where you reside, there is no address there, describe where you live. If it is behind a pharmacy or behind a police station, opposite a, a, a high school or a college, please don't give all the details so that we're able to locate you. We need to do this very fast because... We are waiting for our miracles. And it's coming to us tonight in Jesus' name. So our counselors, please 
Let's do the work very, very fast. If you are watching online and you gave your life to Christ after the pastor's message this evening, there is a link, gckhq.org slash connect below your player. Click it and fill out the form so that we can assist you further in your new work with Christ. Also, if you are listening via radio or television and you have just given your life to Christ, send your name, phone number, and location address via SMS or WhatsApp to this number. Plus two three four nine one five four 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 nine two six three. I'll repeat that again. Plus two three four nine one five four 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 nine two six three. There are going to be a special believers banquet for all those who gave their lives to Christ during this crusade from Thursday to this night. It's going to be on Sunday, the 6th of October, 2024, in all our churches globally. More details about this will be sent to you. Our pastor will be delighted to have you join this special banquet. For all the believers covers at the Alpha locations, the believer banquet will be. Yeah. Yeah. I have it. Okay. Do to be this place. Okay. Okay. For all. Believers at the Alpha locations, your banquet will be on Sunday, 6th of October, 2024, 2024, at the same venue we use for the ministers' conference in this compound. Please don't forget, the time is 3 p.m. I repeat, all believers who give their life to the Lord from Thursday, Till tonight, your banquet will be on Sunday, 6th of October, 2024, at this same venue where we had the minister's conference. The time is 3 p.m. We are waiting. If counseling has finished that is part of the field, please indicate. Let us know by indicating, showing your balloon or of the card. Please let me smart about it. We are waiting. Our GS is waiting to bring the power of God down into our lives. Let's start checking at the back, to my left hand side, back. You are finished taking the details of the converts. Please indicate. By waving the card or balloon or whatever you have there. What about towards the front, left hand side? Central at the back. You're finished. 
wave the bird at me or the balloon. Let's check the right hand side. Don't forget, please write legibly so that we can read uh, to, be able, to be able to be of help to you. Towards the back, right hand side, if you're finished, please indicate by waving the banner the balloon or whatever you have. Counselors, please. Those who cannot write, please help them to write. Those who can write, let them do the writing by themselves. In capital. If you have filled a similar card one or two times before since Thursday, you don't need to fill another word. We are waiting for the counselors. Please give me a video signal that you are finished in any part of the field. Far back, any progress? Members of the choir who are not busy on it now should join the counselors so that we can finish. This or time. If you finish. You want the area, go to the other part. Towards the front, if you are finished, the leader there should give us signal that you are finished. Please let's increase the the pace. Thank you so much. See the signal there towards my right hand side front. What about the back? The back. The central role. The 
the left hand side. If you're finished, please indicate. Let's be fast about this. Counselors, we're waiting. If you're finished, please give us a signal. Let's be fast about it. We are waiting. Thank you. I see the signal from the front. Stay in the front. The, those at the back, the left hand side, Let's be sure we do a thorough job. Yes, we want you to finish it time, but let's be sure we do it properly. Yes, I see it. The signals in the middle road, towards the front. What about the back? The back. My left hand side. Counselors, please double up your efforts. Let's finish this counseling session. If you are standing, nobody has come to you. Please wave your hand so that the counselor can see you and attend to you quickly. You stood up for salvation. You have been prayed for by the GS. Nobody has attended to you. Please stand up, wave your hand so that the counselors can locate you and attend to you. We are waiting, counselors. Yes, I see the flag in the middle. If you are finished where you are, please move to those areas that are yet to finish. Especially toward the back. Yes, I don't have flag there, but let's toward the back. 
we have not finished. As we are waiting, I expect you to be praying, asking God what you want God to do for you this Friday night. The man of God is getting ready to call heaven down upon your life. Begin to talk to God, your expectation for God tonight. And your expectation will be granted. If you believe, you say amen. And you will have testimonies. Please rise up, start for miracles. Everybody, I said, praise the Lord. The works of his grace, the wonder of his grace, the wealth of his grace. As we pray now on this final night, the wonders of grace will come to you. Because Jesus Christ is the same yesterday today and forever and because god says i am god i change not his power has not changed his provision has not changed and his performance will not change in your life whatever you need healing deliverance miracle Power manifestation from heaven. Deliverance that will roll away all those areas of darkness in your life is coming upon your life right now. Nothing will stand between you and your healing. Nothing stands between you and your deliverance. Nothing stands between you and the wonders of his grace. You raise up one hand, you lay the other hand on yourself. And when you hear the final amen, you know that it is done. You have a particular challenge, a particular need, a particular sickness, a particular disease, a particular attack, affliction. You raise up your hand. Then you lay the other hand on yourself. And remember... In the name of Jesus, there's no failure. I said, in the name of Jesus, there is no failure. He always does what we ask in that name. You are ready now? Heaven is ready. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I bring all your people before you tonight. And we're asking for the wonders of your grace, the wonders of your mercy, the wonders of your love, the wonders of your compassion. Look down on everyone having a sickness, a disease, a demon, affliction, demonic affliction. And Lord, I pray, do that wonder in their lives. Heal, deliver them in Jesus' name. By your stripes, we're healed. Not by a feeling, not by a crying, not by a shouting, not by rolling on the ground, not by holy water, not by incense, not by candle. By his stripes, we're healed. Lord, I pray that the stripes of Christ that he bore for healing will avail for everyone right now in Jesus' name. Demonic oppression, demonic attack, and brain problem, the Lord touches you right now. Be delivered in Jesus' name. 
all the things that the enemy power has done that the powers of darkness has done in your life i cancel them in jesus name spirit from the water spirit of mommy spirit bush spirit whatever be delivered in jesus name i bring the people before you that have any physical challenge in their body i pray that swelling in any part of your body will vanish away in jesus name the pain in the joints pain and the chest pain and the brain pray uh, anywhere the pain is i pray the lord touch you right now he bore our grief he bore our pain and i pray all the all the pains will vanish away in jesus name your problem was your blood blood flow blood issue whatever problem it is that affects any part of your body lord i pray cleanse their blood purify their system and i pray all those things that bothered them because of the blood problem solve the problem heal their sickness set them free I pray for those who are blind, blindness, dimness of sight. I pray the Lord touch your eyes right now. Open those eyes and see clearly in Jesus' name. Blindness, you don't have any authority to remain there. I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Glaucoma, cataract, be healed in Jesus' name. Those of ear problem, I pray the Lord will touch your ears and touch your tongues and your vocal cords. Be healed in Jesus' name. I pray for those who have arthritis. I pray and I command arthritis be healed in Jesus' name. Limbness paralysis. The Lord heal you right now. Polio. The Lord heal you right now. The ability to stand you didn't have. The ability to walk you didn't have. The ability to run you didn't have. Lord, I pray, touch them, heal them, and take away the lameness and the paralysis now in Jesus' name. One leg shorter than the other. Lord, I pray that short leg will grow out. That short hand will grow out. And the withering of any part of the body. I pray, Lord, heal them right now. Life in every part of your body. Strength in every part of your body. Lord, I pray from the top of the head to the tip of the toe. Touch everyone. Heal everyone. Deliver everyone. And search all captives free yeah. to my right it's done yeah. to my left it is done yeah. in front of the middle part of the back it is done in jesus name online everywhere we are now on the globe i sent for the power of christ's healing and i sent forth the authority of that name of jesus and the healing virtue of the Lord touch you and heal you and deliver you right now. It is done for you. It is done in your body. It is done. Lord, I pray there will be confirmation everywhere right now. Out of the wheelchair, confirmation. Away from the crutches, confirmation. Hearing and seeing, confirmation. Healing and health confirmation. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. There's a confirmation to your life. Check up, check up, check up, check up quickly. 
that short leg is growing out now. Check it up. You are the wish here, jump out. There is ability for you to jump out. You will suffer polio. The strength of God has come upon those legs. Check up. Check up yourself. And as you see a miracle has happened, please shout hallelujah. And begin to come to the left hand side to give your testimony. Front, back, middle rows, check up yourself and shout hallelujah. If you have seen a miracle that has happened in your life, please check up yourself. Don't move, don't move anywhere. Don't forget your promise. Stay where you are, check up yourself. It's time to celebrate the goodness of the Lord, the miracle of God Almighty upon your life. It's time to celebrate. Please stop the movement and go back to your, to your seat. Let's check up ourselves. Whatever the challenge that you had before now, the prayer has been made and you have been delivered. You are set free. Joyfully shout hallelujah and come to the front here. Look at yourself. The arthritis is gone. Exercise yourself. Exercise your limbs. You have received a miracle. I said you have received a miracle. Confirm it and shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. As you discover the miracle, please come to the front here. My left hand side to give your testimony. Don't forget, there will be many testimony tonight. And I don't want anybody to miss any of the testimonies. Just be seated where you are so that you can listen to all the... In fact, you should be coming out by now. A miracle has happened in your life. Check it up. Check it up. Check it up. A miracle has happened in your life. Your eyes that couldn't see properly, check it up. A miracle has happened. Please check it up. A miracle has happened. You discover now you can see clearly. Shout hallelujah and come here to give your testimony. Don't forget your promise to me. Nobody leaves until the last testifier has given the testimony. So we are waiting for you. What you should be doing now is checking up yourself. Check your eyes. Check your lips. If your wish here is time to jump out of it. You can't. The ability has been given to you through prayer. Jump out. And come, come here to give your testimony. Polio, you are healed already. We are waiting. If you have noticed a miracle in your life, please start running down here. Meet our brethren here to interview you and give you opportunity to give your testimony. Orchestra, let's rejoice. There's miracle in the camp.
to miracle tonight. You receive a miracle on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, yesterday. Please, you still have the opportunity to give your testimony. It doesn't matter whether it's so late this night or during the, from the beginning of this crusade. You receive a miracle. You have no, You say, let me go and check it. You have checked it. You have confirmed it. Please run to the front here to give your testimony. Nobody goes home. Please be seated where you are. Let's have the first testifier from the Alpha location. The Lord. My name is Dr. Jonathan Awajimawa. Tonight, the wonders of God's grace is working miracles here at the Alpha location. And we have a series of testimony. We hear from the first testifier, Mr. Bright Ojinga. Brethren, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, brethren. Hallelujah. I want to testify the goodness of God in my life. And I have two major testi uh, testimony this night. One is salvation, and the other one is healing. Since ever then, I've been struggling to worship God, but I find it difficult before I finally join Deeper Life Bible Church. I am Mr. Bright Ojinga by name. I am from Element Local Government. I worship at Omoko Group. In Korea region, Port Harcourt. This night, it happened at 2021, doing showers of blessing, October 31st, because I have been suffering from ulcer since 2016. I can't eat whatsoever that is cooked with pepper, nor beans, or any hot food. Early morning, by 8, if I am not eating, I will be having issues in my stomach, as if there is needle or there is knife or any sharp object in my stomach until they will give me food. And that problem has been there. I've been using all sorts of drugs, but to no avail. Then finally, on the 31st of October 2021, shout out of blessing, global crusade in Patakotia, I make a decision that God I want you to heal me and let me confirm by salvation if my healing is there. Let me fast it. And I fasted from that morning to night. The ulcer, I did not see anything to kill me. The issue that I observe in the morning, do in the day, the issues vanish. I continue like that. The thing did not affect me again. And I said I will give all the glory to God. Before I couldn't fast, anything called fasting is my enemy. But after that global crusade, shout out of blessing, I can fast, I can pray. So I want to return all the glory to God in Jesus' name. The second one is my salvation, personal salvation that God gives unto me. I have been an idol worshiper, not until I joined the Palai Bible Church and God. Deliver me from those authors and powers. Just as our daddy stated this night, that when salvation comes, you will reign over things that reign over you. And today, I am reigning over that power in Jesus' name. I say, may God be all the glory forever and ever for my salvation and healing. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are waiting for you. Check up yourself. You got a miracle. I know it. Please start running down to give your testimony. You are saved tonight. You can give your testimony of salvation. Please, we are waiting for you. Come to the left-hand side. Uh, orchestra, give us a piece.
place your covenant to the last tes testimony before the next one. The, the last testifier was miraculously healed of peptic ulcer disease, and he was also saved from sin. Praise the Lord. We have a second testifier. Let's hear from her. Praise the Lord. My name is Deborah. I'm from Omok. My name is Deborah from Omok. I want to testify to the goodness of God in my life. I want to thank God for healing me of ulcer before I came for the crusade. Before I came for the crusade, I was feeling stomach pain, serious stomach pain. It was so unusual, so I went to the clinic for tests, and the doctor confirmed that I had ulcer. So he prescribed some drugs for me. He gave me some drugs to take for the ulcer, for the ulcer to be cured. So, so some of those drugs were omeprazone and some other drugs which I can't really recall their names. So I took the drugs, the drugs relieved me of the pain. And on Saturday evening, when the man of God was telling us that we should pray, we should place our hands on where we are feeling pain, and we should pray that God should heal us of the sickness and disease we came with. So I prayed, and I believe that God will heal me. And on that Saturday till now, I don't feel any pain anymore. So I'm here to testify to the goodness of God. And on that same Saturday also, my salvation was restored back to me. My salvation was restored back to me. So I'm just here to give God all the glory. Something is happening everywhere. If there's a confirmation, please come out. Don't hide the blessings of God. Our leaders are waiting for you, left hand side of the pulpit, to interview you and let us hear what God has done. Doctor, continue. We we'll listen to the third testimony, Mrs. Grace Choma. Praise the Lord. Praise the living God. My name is Grace Choma. I'm here to give God glory for what He has done to me. On 2005, a day came, I woke up from sleep. I woke up with the cold. After that cold, the thing developed for cough. I cough, I cough, I cough. We apply everything, no way. So at the point I meet a doctor, they say that this is asthma. And I've been suffering from this asthma for about past years. I go to church as I'm going, I'm going with the ventolin in my bag anywhere I go. I go to church. But where the man of God is praying, every time he's praying, I claim it, I claim it. At a point, I go take do it, I didn't know again. God took it away from me. Since two years now, I don't have to take him down again. I don't even know, I come back home without I do anything. But God has removed that pain away from me. I say, may your name be glorified in Jesus' name. The God will go take away pain. I came here this morning with the pain. But God has done it for me this evening. I say, may your name glorify in Jesus' name. God has done it to me. Praise the Lord. Yeah. God has done your own also. Doctor. She was miraculously healed of chronic asthma. And tonight, all the symptoms of asthma, she has watched them and they have vanished away. The orchestra, please. <laughs> Let's go online to hear what God is doing in, from the on, online audience. Among the great things that God is doing in our midst at this GCK is the ripples of wonders at the end of every The online community has been graciously blessed through the wonders of God's grace. Our fingers are crossed and our hopes remain high that the wonders of God's grace are still happening today and after. Before we sign off from the unforgettable Ahoda Crusade, let these testimonies you're about to hear so register in your heart that God never fails. God never 
comes late and God is still working wonders. Happy listening. Raphael from Cameroon. I had this chest pain, but today after the prayer of the man of God, my chest pain disappeared. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Caleb Owusu Apia from Accra, Ghana, has been suffering from chest pains for several years. But on the first day of this month, GCK, after the prayer of the man of God, he was healed of chest pains. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. And Abana Isaac from Lagos, Nigeria is testifying. And he said, sharp pain in my navel has disappeared after the prayer of the man of God. Amen. If you're listening carefully, you him from Osa. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ebe John from DCLM YouTube is also testifying. And he said, I am healed from inside chest pain. All thanks to God. Hallelujah. From the DCLM YouTube channel, Ruth Kangoma is testifying. She's saying she got healed from a chronic throat and ear pain after the prayer of her father in the Lord. And she's thanking God for her father in the Lord. And she says, may God continue to bless and use him in a special way. Amen. Indeed, God is doing great things. As you can see, there's an avalanche of miracles online. And that is not all. We want to bring you this testimony of God's wonders in the life of this woman. The daughter testified of how God uh, miraculously healed her from a fatal accident which she sustained fracture uh, on her thigh and on her hip, also on her right arm. But after the prayer of the man of God, she received a healing. Let's hear from the daughter of the miraculous thing God did in the life of her mother all the way from Edo State. Praise the King of Kings. I'm Miss Grace Udo. I'm the eldest daughter of my mother, Mrs. Beatrice Udo. My mother had a ghastly, terrible accident November last year, 27th. She has the bruises all over her body, all over her head. We even went for a head scan to check if the memory was okay. She was unconscious for two weeks. She could not recognize anyone. She could not recognize even her whole pastor, even my father. She could not, just me alone because I was with her during that period. Then we rushed her to UBTH when they called us. We rushed her to UBTH. We spent two weeks plus at UBTH. They donated several pounds of blood with the help of member of Deeper Life, with the help of the pastor. She was able to succeed, come out alive from, from UBTH. We wanted to do the surgery because she had a fracture. The way the accident was, the accident, she, she had a fracture at the right leg two places at the right leg close to her hip here then one here and the hand pulled out of the shoulder she could not raise up her hand she could not raise up her leg she was on bed she was just lying down like this for about a year plus not sitting down she could not even go to the toilet we are we are we are the one happy her if she want to pull if she want to we will we will do everything she will be on her body pull on her body the stress was too much, but God was with us. But from the help of the pastor of this district, the pastor has been coming to pray. The members has been coming to pray with her, encourage her, help us financially in one way or the other. Sometimes when Gio is doing the global crusade, we'll put it online for her to watch because it was not, not in a do state. So the pastor called me that, ah, Gio is coming October. I said, ah. October, I want my mother to be dear. Then she now told me that one of her sister came to see her, the Christian sister. He, when she explained everything to the sister, the sister gave her 2000 that I should use it to buy subscription. I put it on my phone that she should watch it online. That she believed that when watching it online, she will get a miracle. I said, Amen. Nobody believes I will survive. But God won't get my life, say I will survive. As the man of God come in those states, I said, Oh. My life don't Perfect. change, and I will be here. <laughs> I believe as Okumuyi is coming, anywhere I there, I will receive my miracle. And really, it come to pass in my life. Because when it come, everything is not moving fine with us, but God changed every bad thing to good for me in my life. Inside my heart, miracles start. I thank God. I thank God. I thank God. As we can see, the power of God touched her, and 
the lady who was bedridden for a while, you can see she can stand and she can walk. Is that all? No. I want to bring you this testimony, irrespective of how long you've been infirmed, God can still do something. And that infirmity bows to the power and the name of Jesus. This is a testimony, first of all, of 18 years um, misconception taken away. And that is not all that the son also was infected. But after the prayer of the man of God, the son received his healing and he is perfectly whole. We'll bring you this testimony all the way from Calabar Broadcasting Live. Praise the Lord. I am here to testify the goodness of the Lord in my life and in my family. My name is Sister Blessing Major from Essentan District Church, Calabas, Cross River South. This God we serve is awesome. The boy I'm carrying is given to me miraculously by God. Praise the Lord. So it was after my 18 years of marriage, I saw Pastor Kumu in my dream. That was all. If I know it, he came live to Calabar. And that was how God gave me this conception. And I delivered this baby safely. Praise the Lord. I noticed something. As we were going for immunization, I saw that the child's ear had been so bad, having some foul smell. So I told the pediatrician, they gave us some drugs, but it was not really working. Graciously, during Taraba Crusade, God made it that the ear had become so severe, the boy ran to me and said, Mommy, my ear. And that was at the age of four. I said, God. I told him to raise his hand. He did. As the prayer was going on, at the end of the prayer, I did not remember to ask him again. We got home late because of the second phase of the Taraba crusade. Early in the morning, my boy woke up with a exclaiming. I said, what is the problem? He said, mommy, something has fallen out of my ear. I did not see anything. In fact, he was so curious. I checked, I didn't see anything. I said, okay, let me search. I opened the ear, I couldn't see anything. I went to ear board. I started packing things out of my son's ear. I don't know what they were. It was just like a congealed chocolate. I packed and finished one box of earbud. I went back, I carried a sachet earbud, I finished it. That was how my child was healed. Since that time till now, no trace of that pain. Praise the Lord. Since that time till now, there is no trace of the pain. The pain was taken away. Is there anything God can, cannot do? There is nothing, nothing at all. No trace. Yes, no trace. Absolutely, there is no trace of what God cannot do. As we bring you the, all this testimony from the online community, we, we know God is still doing great things in the life of the people. And if you're there, you're listening to us right now, we still want you to check yourself and come out and share your testimony. We now return you to the officiating overseer. Okay, sir, give us a song and let's rejoice. For what God has done. your miracles please share your testimony with us via the whatsapp number being displayed on the testimony link on the screen you can also record a video of your testimony and share it with us via whatsapp and telegram thank you next testimony at the alpha location great things are still happening here at the alpha location we'll take our next testimony from mrs obiageri let's hear from her 
to praise thy Lord. I want to testify the goodness of God through us, my life. My, te <clears throat> my name, I come from Awoda West region, joint Karama group. My testimony goes like this. 2020, I am fleeted with moving objects in my body. The thing is moving from my head to my toe. When it move until it reach my heart, just be like then take something, dig my heart, then I don't know myself again. I continue to suffer this suffering. I tell Jesus, Jesus, this thing that devil afflicted in my body, I will not find money. I will not go to a bush and find money and cure myself. It is you, Jesus, that you will cure me. I continue to pray. I continue to pray until I hear that our daddy is coming. Oh. Our daddy is coming to Aoda. Then I tell Jesus, you are the one that you will heal me. When I come from Thursday, the thing started to do me again. Then, reading Friday, the minister's conference, that we hold over there. When we finish, I say that I will hold my, our father's motto. I will receive my healing. Then when the motto is coming, then the dry person that we should not hold. I just struggle and toy the motto. Then reaching even, our father is minister until he read the time that he will pray. As the minister, he mentioned my case. Reading the prayer hour, we, we pray, he said that we should touch the place that is worrying us. Then I touch my heart all over my body, I touch. After the prayer of man of God, all those things that is moving my body, digging my heart is vanished. I will not receive that pain again. Then I come to testify for the goodness of God. The thing that Jesus do for me, let it do it for another person in Jesus' name. Amen. Everything moving, your body will move out tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Our Doctor. next testimony is an incredible thing God did in this crusade. Let's hear from Miss Rebecca Emmanuel. Praise the Lord. My name is Emmanuel Rebecca, and I'm a member of the Palai from Momok region. I've been bedwetting for God knows when since I was born. I came to this program, and I've been praying for God to heal me. Since on Thursday, I was not here on Thursday, so on Friday I was praying and hoping on the Lord. From that Friday to today, I've not bedwetted. And together. She had a neurosis since birth, and the symptom has been there all her life until this crusade, and God took it away miraculously. Next testimony. Our next testimony is from Miss Ebenezer Ogeche. Let's hear her testimony. Praise the Lord. My name is Ebenezer Ogeche. I'm from Ikwere region, Omoko group. My testimony is that this morning I was planning to come to minister's conference. So on my way, I had an accident that nearly claimed my life, if not for God. Two vehicles that were trying to avoid each other. One hits me as I fell on the ground. The front tire of that one crossed my back. And three or two other vehicles fell on me. That there were three vehicles. One even broke. Only God knows how I survived it. Although I suffered a little, like some bruises and a little swelling. But by the grace of God, I am alive. May the name of the Lord be glorified in Jesus' name. Put your hand together and praise the Lord. Miraculous deliverance from death. Praise the Lord. Ah. 
I'm sure you are aware this night is the last night. We will not be here tomorrow. Check up yourself. There's a miracle already in your life. Please check up yourself and come for testimony. By my left hand sound, our leaders are there to interview you and give you the opportunity to give your testimony. Don't be a don't look at. Check up yourself. There's a miracle already deposited in your life. Amen. Next, next testimony. Next testimony is from Mrs. Susanna Yenacho. Let's hear from her. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I, I want to thank God for his mercy and the miraculous healing he has given to me today. I have been having itching for some months today. And so today's a uh, grand finale this crusade god has touched me no more itching the lord healed me hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. and i also want to thank god that god never allowed me to witness the death that this girl just gave this testimony the girl would have died instantly but god Never allow this record of death concerning this GCK crusade. To God be the glory. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Orchestra, give us music and let us rejoice. <laughs> Testifier. Next testimony is from Mrs. Augustina Wanaka. Let's hear her testimony. Brother, praise the Lord. I thank God for my testimony. I want to testify the glory of God towards my life and my family. Thank you. My name is Sister Wanaka Augustina from Hospital District, Ahoda region. I want to testify the goodness of God towards my life and the healing that God has given me during these crusades. I'll be having backache, weight, a weight uh, pain. When I sit down, to stand up is very difficult for me. Most of the times I used to walk, trekking, so that I would be able to exercise myself. But all that I'm doing, it's not a bad deal with GTK. It was still that Thursday that I was here, and I would like to come early too. Pray in and there, but I wonder, as the program is wonders of God's grace, I wonder too how the pain disappear. Now I can even bend or do whatever thing that I didn't receive the pain again, may his name be glorified. And also, I have to have a nasty dream that I cannot understand. But still, that this is getting now. I have not gotten the dream. What I'm getting is blessing of dream. Praise the Lord. I thank God for that. I believe that He has done for me, He will also do for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Our next testifier is Mrs. Virginia Oparaji. Let us share her testimony. Brethren, praise the Lord. My name is Virginia Aparaji. I worship at um, Omohawk region. This woman is, that is standing here is GCK woman. GCK stands because of me. This daddy in the Lord have healed me in the port in affliction of madness. After the affliction of madness, Satan said, I think it's you. After, in December, something come again and enter inside my ear. I, when I took, I cannot see anything. I, started, I was frustrated. I don't even know what to do again. I said, on Thursday, my daddy have come again. I will still go. 
Satan, you are a liar. I will put you into shame. Immediately, Friday evening, my daddy mentioned my case. That aunt, just, I don't even know whether it is a stone. The thing fling away. Praise the Lord. Another one. It was on Thursday, the Bible last week. My dear, I don't even know what Satan is planning. Daddy mentioned my case. That land that was taken away has been restored back. Praise the Lord. This testifier. The next testifier is Mrs. Ketrin Roman. Let's hear her testimony. Group <laughs> E kwa duba cha asa kata e kwa degre go alogre gale. Bato di ikini ba saman bia. Ya kruseda ba ya hoda. He monda. Weri kata maruta akayaga mino yi. Adam yane bete pali ya monda amande ya mino yi. Bane chukwa eto. Oru yotota asa ka masim. Ka unja di ije iji jege mama vwe yigwa. But you are not catching a key. Moka Waki, a Germanic coyo to toa. Moma, mother, ye body, my daughter, Gigetto, Ruma, mama, a hoda yima, a jimbe monico. Bani to quato. Do bare, we are palima, we are we any. Oh, we bring a remire. What I mean, where? I don't know what I bear, I'm on, but what I mean, Jesus. Let's listen to interpretation. There is no interpreter really available. Let's have the next testifier. We will listen to we the. We have an interpreter. Okay, please go ahead. Praise the Lord. Our sister here, Sister Ketri Roman from Akaboga District, Omok region, River State, Nigeria. She testified that she was having knee pain for years and she do not walk very far distance because of the pain. It has been there for years. But miraculously, during this GCK, here in Aouda, the Lord healed her, and now she's free. She even went for morning call this morning, and then she moved for a far distance 
for morning call, that pain disappeared miraculously. Now she's not feeling it again. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Next testifier. Next testifier is an incredible miracle of what God is doing. The adults are receiving and children are not left out. Let's hear from goodness, Loris. Put your hand together. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please give it to Brother, my name is Sister Sarah. Knane by his grace, I'm saved. I found Elelegbeda region, River State, Nigeria. My testimony go like this. This guy that you see is my neighbor Peking. This guy was going to school before where I know. Along the way, I don't know what actually happened. They say he brought a just person, the guy, for from that time, her leg turned to rope. The guy cannot walk again. So the mother, the parents have carried this girl to where they can treat her, they reset her. That is not the word that they can do. I continue to encourage the mother. I say our Jesus will come. And thank God, when I go invite the mother, the mother says I should take my daughter to where I they go. I say when we come back, you will see that goodness work. And I want to testify that the Lord answer my prayer. You people Put can bear it now what the Lord has done here. Goodness Celebrate. now can work. I said, God, I do this. You should remember everybody that come here with challenge in Jesus' name. Amen. According to the testifier, the child has not been working prior to this program, but after the prayer tonight, the child got up and can now move. Next testifier. Our next testifier is favor, good life. Let's hear from him. Praise the Lord. Brethren, praise the Lord. Children of God, praise the Lord. I am standing here to say my testimony, and my testimony goes this way. I have a stomach pain over three years now. And this stomach pain, whenever it comes, I'm not able to do anything. Now that I carry a heavy something, each time I try, I will end up in pain. Most of the times, I will tell my parents, this is what I'm going on. And my parents will not be able to understand my pain. I'll be trying so many ways. And my parents finally say, okay, let's go to the hospital. We went. Reaching to the hospital, we did a lot of tests. And they find out that my heart is okay, everything in my body is okay. And they say that, sorry, but we cannot find any pain in you. But only me and God understand. Reaching this evening, I was telling God, God, this is my problem. What should I do? God, this is what is troubling me. Will I go home with this? I'll be crying in my heart. And today... When the man of God say, wherever place we have pain, I, before he even say it, I've already laid my hands. And I say, God, he's talking about me. It is me. Behold, brethren, I receive my healing instantly. Amen. Praise the Lord. Keep on checking yourself. You are, a, a miracle has been deposited in your life. Confirm it and come and give your testimony. Keep on checking yourself. You can't go home without a miracle. Next testifier. Our next testifier is Mrs. Nancy. By God, let's hear from her. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Nancy. By God. I'm from Aoda West. My testimony goes like this. On... 2012, I was be tormented by Mary's spirit, disturbing me, but I tried and tried. I could not know what to do. But by his grace, on 221, that our daddy in the Lord, 
in that uh, June, that GCK in June 221, I received my miracle. The thing that was tormenting me vanished away till today. And my second testimony goes like this. I was having stomach pain in the left in the left hand of my stomach. I went to the hospital then said and don't see anything. That there is nothing in there worrying me. But in that August changing uh, that is what is it called? Change makers in that August. That day then said everybody will go to Portacourt. I ready to go to Portacourt and said no. Everybody should be in their region. I said no. I will go there and see daddy face to face. By his grace in that Friday when daddy prayed I did not receive any pain. When I get back home, I went to toilet. I shit out a bunch of worm with many heads. Starting from that day to today, I have not received that pain. So church, praise the Lord. You have been delivered. Go ahead and enjoy your deliverance. Next testifier. Our next testifier is... Mrs. Emmanuel Rose, let's hear from her. Praise the Lord. Praise the living God. My name is Emmanuel Rose. I'm here to give God all the glory and honor for saving me from my sins. Because on Saturday night when I came for the crusade, when Daddy said that we should stand up and give our life to Christ, I was touched by his preaching that Saturday night. So I stood up and gave my life to Christ. Since then, I have found a new life in me. Amen. I always feel the presence of God around me. I always do things that please God. I find myself doing things that please God, and I could not no longer do those things that does not please him. I say this grace that I have found there, may it last forever it in Jesus' last. name. Put your hand together. And, then. and my next testimony was that since then, I always sing before, but I don't feel the presence of God. I don't even know how to praise him. But at the end of everything, anytime I'm singing, he always there with me. He always directs me what to sing and how to go with it. May his name alone be Allah exalted in Jesus' Amen. name. And I pray that the Lord God has done it for me. May he do it for the rest in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's go online to still get testimony from online audience. Okay, give us, uh, orchestra, give us. Yeah, the Alpha location. Our next is fire is Mr. Solomon Idahosa. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Brother Solomon Idahosa. By the grace of God, I'm saved. I'm from Potako region, uh, Faith and Station District. By God's grace, uh, December, when we were having New Year, uh, New Year um, uh, breaking 
um, all night, breaking new year, this very year, I pray, I told God, I say, God, do something in my life. I want to see a blessing of God in my life. Starting from January, God opened door. I started having contract here and there. After GS, I prayed for us that January, that is, that is uh, December. Then January ending, enemy came up. The devil came up to strike. And February 4th, I was driving my car for God finish. I parked. And I came down to look for solutions so that I can put in for it. While standing beside my car, a vehicle left the road and it hit me with the car and it ran away. That was evening time, around that kind, 10 thereabouts. And at this point in time, I'm no longer in myself, I've gone. I don't even know what is happening. And the man left me there and he ran away. I was on the ground, other vehicles were coming, they were dodging. I didn't even know. And I stayed there till 2 a.m. in the night. Till God used an aboki man where he was doing security to come that way that night and he was able to rescue me. And he started calling my phone, he saw number in my phone, started calling them. He said, call my people at home. And they started crying that night. And God will have it. They were able to rush me to BMH. So getting there, doctor did a series of history in my phone. They are out there. And I spent one month there. And they were to now started tearing my leg because I lost my leg. I break into four places. My leg will break. And uh, I said, what can I do? I cannot walk anymore. They give me a wheelchair. I was in the hospital. I said, well... There's a God in heaven. That February edition, GCK were here in River State. I listened through the radio on the hospital. So after then, and I told the doctor that they should discharge me and take me back to my home. I tell whole time, which is Benin. And they say, no, they can't try it because my leg is not yet recover and all the extreme on my head. I say, no, they should discharge me. My parents said they should discharge me and bring me back home. So I was discharged, sent to Benin. So by God's grace, I was at home. And my parents was crying, how is it me that I cannot walk with my leg? I said, God will do it. So this reaching an Easter retreat, my parents said they would not go to retreat. I said, no, they should take me from where I was to retreat. That when GS pray, I will regain myself. My mother said, how is it possible? I said, carry me. So everybody, we all went to Easter retreat. By God's grace, after GS prayer, the leg that I could not walk with, the wheelchair I was walking with, everything I dropped, then I started walking. Amen. From that retreat, I started walking. And they say, what? Is it God that is doing this or is what? I said, there is a God in heaven. So after then, the retreat over, we return back home. And from there, anybody that come around the say, I say, is it you that have lost your leg? I say, yes, there is God. And from there, I started regaining all my strength. And today, by the grace of God, I can walk, I can jump. Everything is over. Pray Praise the Lord. Amen. And also this crusade we are on now, and uh, that was on Monday this week. I woke up, I cannot turn my back. I was having a sharp pain from my back. I turned, I, asked, I told my wife, I said, how many pain? I don't know what I will do to it. He said, what can you do now? Can you go to hospital? I said, I don't know. I would have checked what would happen. So on Monday, on Tuesday, the same persist. I say, well, GCK is coming on Thursday. Let me just hold on. So by the grace of God, on Thursday, I went. I, I couldn't come here. I was at my district. I went at my district. I was there. So after GS prayed that night, I went to. The following morning, I wake up. I cannot even trace a sign of pay. From that day till now, I am here. Praise the Lord. The Lord who have done it for me will do it for you in Jesus' name. Next testifier. Our next testifier is Mrs. Felicia Wilfred. Let's hear her testimony. Brethren, praise the Lord. My name is Sister Felicia T.W. Nubo. I am from Dokia District. Town group of this street, town old group, and then Portacot region, River State. I am here to testify to the glory of God for what He did for me in this GCK. I had a problem for over 10 years now called ulcer and have been taking the drugs called Gestid. Each time the pain comes, I buy and take. And I have been managing all this while. Yesterday, the pain came up so severely, I didn't know what to do. 
I was crying and I was praying because I heard the testimonies of others giving how their ulcers were taken away. I said, God, will I go with mine? I was praying, I was crying. I said, God, locate me. Though our faces are different, our needs are different also. But Lord, I pray you will reach out to me one on one. And I never knew that God heard me. And then when the man of God was preaching ministry, I was listening. During the time of, the, then the pain was in the stomach. 